Hello, my friends, I'm Rich Larson, and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today, we are here in Amarillo, Texas for round two of the AMA Enduro Cross Series. Now, what I wanna do today is break down the track for you guys and the major points that are gonna come into play in tonight's main event. Now, starting with, of course, the Star Straight. Now, the Star Straight is extremely long. Once again, just like in Tulsa, this one's actually even longer. We may see some guys grabbing second and third gear coming into that first corner. Now, around that 100 80 degree first corner, we come into a big step up. Now, this step up is gonna be interesting to see if the top guys are gonna be able to do it on the first lap. If they can, they're gonna pull a big gap. And that's gonna be a huge game in getting that hole shot. They're gonna be able to separate themselves quite large if they can get that double. Now, after that double, we come over a single roller that's got a log at the top, pretty simple. Then they come into a sweeping 180 degree right hand turn with uh, wire wheels in the middle. These are wood wire wheels. There's gonna be a lot of different lines and a lot of guys are gonna be going for that inside wheel. After that, we've got a concrete pipe step up. Now, the dirt that we're seeing here is quite soft. We're gonna see it rut up and there's gonna be a lot of different lines and we might see this step up get cupped out. So that's gonna be interesting to see how it develops throughout the night. After that, we drive straight into a rock section. These rocks are a lot more spread out than last weekend, and they're gonna be a little bit more challenging. We're gonna see a lot of opportunities for passing there because there is a lot of different lines. We go into a 90 degree right-hand corner over another like single concrete pipe and into a 180 degree left, and then we hit the matrix section. This matrix section is extremely technical. We've got a big gap and then an extremely technical center section. Basically goes five foot gap, four foot gap, three foot gap, five foot gap. It's very awkward. It's very confusing how they're gonna get through it. I would personally just tire tap and play it safe, but we may see some guys quadding right in the middle triple out and drop into a 90 degree left hand and another step up. This one's interesting. It's got tires at the top and concrete barriers at the bottom. After the step up, we've got the wood pit. Now, the wood pit is filled with some pretty square logs. There should be quite a few lines and it shouldn't be too hard for these guys to get through, but there are jersey barriers on the front and the back of this section. So that should be interesting as the guys come in and out. A couple more single jersey barriers into the final finish line jump. It's actually quite large. One last section before we come on to the start straight, we have this awkward concrete pipe section. Now, two lines on the outside and inside, you can either go single double or double single, or you can balance across the middle on the jersey barriers. As we come into the sweeper back onto the start straight, it's gonna be interesting to see who comes out on top here in Amarillo, Texas, and I cannot wait for you guys to see how it shakes out. Stay tuned, keep shredding. 